It's episode 207 and we're talking about clarity and questions. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Abigail and I upload these daily videos to get the conversation started around confidence because confidence is one of those things that everybody knows they need to have, but when they don't have it, they don't really do anything about getting it. So I want to start these conversations so that we can get intentional about our confidence and so that we can show up in this world in a more intentional way, having more impact and creating an awesome life for ourselves. Who doesn't want that? So if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notifications button so that you can get your daily boost in confidence. And let's take a look at what the 207th thought of 365 is. In the face of uncertainty, ask questions. The answer will eventually show up. Clarity is everything. Business, life, parenting, health, everything. You need to have clarity. You need that clarity to be able to make informed decisions, to be able to have the awareness of where you are and where you need to be. Clarity has been coming up for me personally so much lately, so much so that I am rejigging, reworking one of my models, one of my frameworks that I teach to include clarity because I feel it's been a missing piece for me personally and so I want to bring it out and to have it front and center because it is that important. You can see right there that we tend to forget about clarity but it's so key, so crucial in any success journey and without it, without having clarity when you're in a state of uncertainty that is a muddy and a blurry and a very confusing state to be in. I know myself, I have spent a lot of time in that state of uncertainty and so much of my anxiety has developed as a result of not having that clarity of just being completely uncertain. Much of my lack of decision making has been as a result of not having clarity. And so the ripple effects of not being clear and staying in the state of uncertainty can go far and wide if you let it. So the sooner you can get clarity, the sooner you can start making headway and getting towards your ultimate goal. But how do you get clarity? I was doing a group session this morning at my monthly Over Coffee Confidence Conversations. If you want to attend one of those, they're free every month in Cape Town. Details are down below. And we were talking about vision boards and dreams and goals, you know, knowing what it is that you want. And this question has come up many times before where, where somebody says, but yes, it's all fine and dandy to, I get the principle of, of visualizing my goals and my dreams, but what if I don't know what I want? And I can so relate to this, I'm sure you can too, that sometimes you just don't know what you want. Years of my business, was spent not knowing what I wanted. And so ultimately I wasn't getting anywhere because I didn't know what it was that I wanted. Literally in this past week, I've had a like shot between the eyes of clarity of what it was that I want. And the advice I gave this morning to that group of women is if you don't know what you want, start with what you don't want. Figure out, well, what is it that I don't want? You don't want to struggle every month. You don't want to be in an abusive relationship. You don't want to be unhealthy anymore. So start with that. If you don't know what it is that you do want, start with what you don't want. And then look at that list of things that you don't want and ask yourself this question. What's the opposite of that? So if that thing that you don't want is on the one side of the spectrum, do a 180 and have a look at what is on the other side of that spectrum. And is that what I want? And that should help you getting clarity on the thing that you want. But you have to ask that question, first of all. And it was Tony Robbins who said, the quality of your life is determined by the quality of the questions you ask. And I really, when I heard that, I really took that to heart. And 
as a result of remaining in that state of questioning, constantly questioning, many of my what feels like shots of inspiration have come to me because I'm always asking why, 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 why? Why for me is such a powerful question. You can also ask yourself how? How am I going to do it? If it was easy, how would it be easy? What would that look like? Always be asking questions because when you ask yourself that question, your subconscious mind grabs hold of that question and starts working it out. And then that's essentially what happens when you're in the shower that day or you're driving your car that day and then suddenly that bolt of inspiration hits you between your eyes and you're like, ah, that's what it is. But if you're not asking the question, your subconscious mind is busying itself with other things. So if you direct it, if you ask, you know, put the question out there, it'll busy itself with the question because it loves a challenge. And yes, the answer may not come immediately, but stay in the question, always be in that question. And eventually the answer will show up. That's been my experience of it anyway. I'd love to hear yours. Do you have any experience with staying in the question, asking the questions and have the answers come? Has it cleared up your uncertainty and has clarity come your way, enabling you to move forward? I'd love to hear, let me know in the comments down below. And if you'd like to continue to ask these kinds of questions, have somebody asking them to you, come and join me at my confidence workshop on the 4th of August, where I will be asking questions all day long and you'll be answering them. Registration details are down below. Come and spend the day with me and let's elevate your confidence. Let's get some clarity and let's just spend an awesome day together. And if you'd like to win a ticket to that workshop, all you have to do is share this video on Facebook using the hashtag confidence workshop competition. And I'll be doing a draw on Tuesday, the 31st of July. I might just be calling your name. So good luck. So if today's thought on confidence resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications button so that you can get your daily boost in confidence. And then go ahead and share this with a friend who maybe needs to get some clarity of her own. So that's it for today. Hope you have a fantastic day. Whatever you do, do it consciously, do it confidently, and I'll see you again tomorrow.